Hello grade 8 students and welcome to the first unit in this course. It is called Atoms and the Periodic Table and Chemical Reactions. In this unit we have two topics. The first topic which is Atoms and the Periodic Table that includes the following lessons. Atomic Theory, the Periodic Table, Bonding and the Periodic Table, Types of Bonds. As for topic two, which is chemical reactions, that includes the following lessons. Mixtures and solutions, chemical change, modeling chemical reactions. The concepts to know for this unit. The key concept is system. Related concept is interactions, models, global context, scientific and technical innovation. As for the statement of inquiry, scientific interactions in a system can be done using a variety of methods and can be represented using different models. As for the assessment criteria in this unit, you will be assessed in two criteria. Criterion A, which is a test paper and pen for this unit and criterion C you will be assessed according to your lab work. First topic in this unit atoms and the periodic table. Lesson of this topic the atomic theory we will get introduced to the development of the atomic theory so we will start with the first theories that were made of an atom which include Rutherford's model Thomson's model cloud model up until we reach how we got the modern model of the atom and then we will get to know the particle mass what does the particle mass mean and then we will get to know that each element has a specific atomic number and we will discuss examples of elements and their atomic numbers as for the isotopes they are um, a special case for uh, different for different elements and we will define them by the different number of neutrons having different number of neutrons but the same element is called isotopes the second lesson of the first topic which is the periodic table from the name we will get introduced to the periodic table of elements how they are organized in the periodic Table. How do I know that this element is supposed to be here? And then we will look at each element alone and we will investigate and understand the symbols that are given to this element from the name of the element, chemical symbol, and the atomic mass. Moving on to the rows found in the periodic table, they are called periods. We will know what elements are found in each period, how do we classify each element in each period, such as transuranium elements, and then we will move on to groups of the periodic tables. They will be divided into metals, non-metals, and metalloids. On to the third lesson of the first topic, which is bonding and the periodic table. As we all know that the elements that are found in nature, they are not always alone. They are made of compounds. They join together. So we will know how the bonding of two elements can cause a compound and how do they bond. So each element has a electron, a valence electron shell around it. And according to the high energy, they will move between two elements causing a compound so we will understand how to find valence electrons through the periodic table and interpret each element and its valence electrons moving on to uh, knowing the physical and chemical properties of metals their reactivity are they the shiny or not do they conduct elect uh, conduct electricity or not and then we will know the physical and chemical properties of non-metals and also we will know the physical and chemical properties of metalloids lesson of the first topic which is the types of bonds 
Since now we know that compounds are made by sharing valence electrons. So when we have this compound, how do we know the type of bond that is between this compound? We have two types of bonds, ionic bonding and covalent bonding. We will get to know what is ionic bonding, how it is formed, and we will also know what is covalent bonding and how it is formed. Moving on to the properties of the ionic bonding. What are the properties of an ionic compound that is bonded by an ionic bond? And then what are the properties of a covalent compound that is bonded by a covalent bond? Moving on to the second topic of this unit, which is chemical reactions. For the first lesson of this topic, mixtures and solutions, we will get introduced to the two types of mixtures, either heterogeneous mixtures or homogeneous mixtures. And we will learn how to separate these mixtures, what techniques do we use to separate mixtures. And then we will classify these mixtures into three categories, either colloid, suspension, or solution. Moving on to what is the term concentration and how does it affect the properties of mixtures and then lastly we will talk about the solubility of a solution and the factors that affect it we have two factors that affect solubility which are temperature and pressure on to the second lesson of the second topic which is chemical change from its name we know that we have a change that we are going to observe. It's either physical change or the chemical change. We will distinguish how do I know that this change is physical and what are the examples of it. And then we will see how the chemical, what chemical change is and how do I distinguish that this change is chemical. We will know how does building and breaking a bond cause a new substance to form. If we want to, when chemical change occurs, an existing bond will break and a new bond we will, will form. So we will understand how this happens. And then we will see the evidence of chemical change. How do I know that chemical, chemical change has occurred? We will see probably color change, gas production, formation of a precipitate. We will see the evidence that indicate that a chemical change happened. And then there's, when there's a change, there's a change in energy. So when energy changes, we have two types of reactions, either exothermic or endothermic. And lastly, we will know the factors that affect the rate of reaction, how fast or how slow does the reaction occur according to different factors such as surface area and temperature. on to the last lesson of this topic which is modeling chemical reactions we will know how to write a formula of the chemical change how do i interpret it in an equation which is reactant plus reactant will give one product or two product depending on the chemical reaction we will know that there's a law of conservation of mass whatever i start with i will end up with mass is conserved and we will learn about the two systems, which are open and closed systems in reactions. As for the type of chemi chemical reactions, there are three types, synthesis, decomposition, and replacement. We will see how each type, has a, how do we distinguish it through the different formula, and we will give examples of each type. For the unit activity, we will be having two labs. The first lab, properties of molecular compounds. We will have table sugar and table salt as compounds, and we will distinguish between them according to their different properties. As for the second lab, is matter conserved. We will test the law of conservation of mass. We will see that mass is actually conserved. As for the skills that are obtained, we will start with communication skills, 
the students will be divided into different groups and will each group will discuss a different atomic theory up until we reach the modern atomic model. As for transfer skills, we will see how the chemical reaction is applied in real life in the pizza kitchen, a very interesting uh, skill that we will see that chemical reactions happen around us, specifically in the pizza kitchen. As for other worksheets and other group discussions that we will have during this Thank you so much, grade eight. This will be your first unit for this course. Good luck, study hard. I'm always here if you need anything, you are more than welcome to come and ask. And thank you so much.